Here, Pritchard denies Lure entry to the lane. When Lure eventually heads down to the low post and gets an entry pass, Chris and Watford shifts over and brings the double team. Lure does a nice job of passing out of it to John Gosser. Verdell Jones rotates down and forces the miss. Lure quickly turns and fires on this possession and nails a long two. Lure is able to get separation here in another cut down near the low block, but he ends up missing the shot. Pritchard chooses to go underneath instead of staying right on Lure, but he misses a three here. On this next set, Wisconsin does some passing around the perimeter as they look to initiate their offense. With nothing doing, eventually, Luer finds himself on the wing with the shot clock ticking down around 10 seconds. Pritchard stays strong with him and forces an air ball. Though Pritchard gets beat off the dribble here, Will Sheehy is able to cut off Luer's path to the basket. Pritchard gets a piece of the shot and Luer shoots another air ball. However, he's able to scoop up the loose ball and put it in for two. It's Watford's turn this time around, and Lure has nowhere to go in the lane. But this possession eventually ends with a Jeremiah Rivers foul, which puts Jordan Taylor on the line for two. Pritchard stays in front of Lure in this possession, but his range and size allow him to elevate for a good look, which splashes in for three points. Here, due to a switch on a pick, Wisconsin is able to get Lure in a mismatch with Victor Oladipo, and Lure eventually converts over the smaller defender. On his last shot of the half, Lure goes iso with Pritchard, but misses on the face-up shot. 